Hello and welcome. Thank you for tuning into Mirror Now. I'm Charlene Lobo and our top focus this hour is the rise in airfares both nationally and internationally. Now, due to Russia-Ukraine war, international airfares have spiked. And it's not just international, but domestic tickets are seeing an upward trend too. In fact, soon we will be joined by a guest to explain why this is happening, what is the cause and what is uh, the impact. In fact, I'm joined by uh, Jay Bhatia, who is currently the Vice President of uh, Travel Agents Association. Thank you so much, Mr. Bhatia, for speaking to Mirror now. Appreciate your time. So we know for a fact that uh, the Russia-Ukraine war is impacting international airfares because of a spike in oil prices globally. At the same time, the domestic airfares are also increasing because of high passenger load. Uh, how do you read this? Do you think this price will come down in near future or this will only increase in the days to come? Well, with the fuel, uh, thank you firstly, uh, Sharil, for having me over. And uh, well, what we see is with the in case of the uh, warlike situation increasing day by day and the fuel price is going higher, the international airfares will definitely go up. The domestic airfares are higher right now because of the load factors going up and the holiday season is also coming uh, close uh, around April. So we are going to definitely see the increase in the airfare for domestic also. And uh, some of the international airlines have already, from effective first week of March, have already increased their fares, uh, citing the fuel, uh, fuel surcharge increased. So we are definitely in looking forward to an increase in fare, and there's not going to be stagnation or reduction in the airfare. And even due to the air bubbles that are continuing, there are restricted flights. So because of the restriction in the flights, the airfare will go higher and higher, unless the whole um, restriction on the flights from and to India is not removed. Right. Uh, Mr. Bhatia, I'd also like to know about uh, the domestic airfares. Do you really think it's because of, uh, you know, the fact that we're heading to a holiday season? It's March now and, you know, April and May. This is the, uh, the season where you mostly have tourists uh, uh, traveling from one state to the other. So is that really a reason why the domestic airfares, uh, airfares are also seeing a rise? Of course, with the opening up of the domestic sector completely and, you know, free travel between India, uh, within India, that is the main reason for that. And people have also started traveling for business as well as for leisure. Uh, the month of March, say from 10th March to 20th March, we might see a little reduction uh, in travel because of the exams of students coming up and, you know, a lot of activities that are happening on the school levels. But yes, at the, by the end of March and beginning of April, holiday season will be there. And we are definitely seeing an increase in the loads uh, across uh, travel to India. In fact, if you see fares to Kashmir or fares to Northeast, they've already shot up too high. And if you're looking for uh, a little later uh, during May, yes, the fares are right now a little stagnated. If you're looking at the fares at the 15-day level, the 15 day up to the first 15 days from today, the fares are high. And then you have seen gradual this thing because people are not taking chances because they've suffered a lot in the last pandemic season. So they are trying to book only within 15 days of travel. So people are scared right now, but at the same time, everything has opened up. So the confidence has gone up and we will see more and more of travel uh, in the coming months. That's right. Consumer, as you pointed out, consumer travel, uh, consumer sentiment among, among uh, travelers uh, uh, is rising. So uh, essentially, I'd like to know from you, uh, it's like a catch-22 situation because the COVID cases are low. Uh, you know, you have more and more tourists who are taking to travel and that's certainly seeing a spike uh, uh, on the domestic front. But uh, will this have a positive impact on uh, the, you know, the travel industry or the airfare industry or in the future? Will, uh, because uh, uh, travellers, will they be discouraged from travelling because of high fa fares and inadvertently, uh, you know, take a hit on travel once again? No, I guess the travel, the airfares right now are higher in terms of marginally higher to what the lower fares were. But on an average, if you go to see the pre-COVID levels, the fares are absolutely at the pre-COVID levels right now within the 15 days that you are seeing. And post that, yes, the fares are lower right now if you are pre-booking beyond 15 days. But what we are envisaging is the fares will definitely remain the same and they are not going to be a major spike that we are expecting. So, I mean, closer to date as 15 days approaches and since more and more things open up, right now the Indians don't have too much of liberty to travel overseas due to the air bubble restrictions. So in an event, this is opened up by 15th of March or by the end of March and then the Indian tourists will start flocking to overseas also. Probably that's the time domestic fares might come back to some sustainable level.
All right, uh, Mr. Bhatia, thank you so much uh, for sharing your inputs. Appreciate you joining us uh, uh, this evening and sharing your perspective on this story. Thank you so much.